Today we're gonna learn about adding fractions. So the first thing you need to do is cut it out and glue it in the next blank page. Okay, today we're gonna learn about adding fractions with common denominators. So what is a common denominator? Well, that just means that both of the fractions have the same denominator. Their denominators are in common. So whenever we add fractions with common denominators, we can start by looking at a model. So here we have a model that represents one fourth, one out of four pieces. Now we're gonna add on two fourths. So if we add the one and the two together, we'll get three as our numerator. So our numerator is three, but our denominator is still four. And that's because there are still four pieces in the whole. So when we're adding fractions, we really just have to add the numerators and then remember that the denominator stays the same. The denominator always stays the same because the denominator represents how many parts are in one of the holes. So now let's look at another example. So here we have a fraction of four fifths, so four out of the five, and we're gonna add on three fifths more, so three out of the five. Notice when we do that, we're gonna get more than one whole, and that's because four and three more make seven. So if we add our numerators, we get seven. But remember, our denominators stay the same because the denominator always, always, always represents the number of parts in one of the holes. So now we have an improper fraction of seven fifths. We can change that improper fraction into a mixed number. If you remember, we learned how to do that a while back. We can change an improper fraction to a mixed number by doing the division. So here we have seven divided by five. Well, five will go into seven one time with a remainder of two. So our mixed number is one and two fifths. So now down here we have some practice problems. So let's do one together. It says find the sum. If it is improper, rewrite it as a mixed number. So step one is to add the numerators. Six plus seven is 13. Step two is to keep that denominator the same because there's still eight parts in one of the holes. But now by looking at this, I can see it's an improper fraction. So I need to do the division to find the mixed number. So eight goes into 13 one time, remainder five. My denominator stays the same. So my answer is one and five eighths. Okay, now let's do another one. Here we have two plus one for our numerators. So our new numerator is gonna be three and our denominator stays the same. Anytime you see a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, it equals one whole. And that's because three out of three are shaded. Now let's do number three. Here we have three plus two makes five and our denominator stays the same. This one is not an improper fraction. It's five sixths, the numerator's already smaller, so we can just leave it like that. All right, let's do another one. One plus two is three, and our denominator stays the same, three eighths. All right, let's do another one. One plus two is three, and our denominator stays the same, three fourths. Now you try the rest of them yourself. I'll give you a hint. One of them is going to require that you change it into a mixed number. So just do the division so that you can find your mixed number. I'll see you next time.